Hey guys, how's it going? Well, today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of uh, using this new idea that's been circulated in the Van Dwelling community. Foam cabinets, or foam shelving. Um, if you're not aware, Into the Mystery 13, also known as Jed, has made a number of videos on the process of making foam building foam cabinets where you take polystyrene and you use this uh, sort of like fiberglass mesh and you paint it on and the paint acts like a glue and once you do that um, the tensile strength the foam doesn't uh, like the polystyrene doesn't bend because of the painted uh, fiberglass uh, stuff mesh so it's a really ingenious uh, way to go um, I'm going to talk about why it's good and why it's not good. Uh, let's talk about why it's good first. Super light. You're going to, something that would weigh, you know, maybe 40 pounds or probably weigh 5 pounds or less with the polystyrene. Um, because the, w the density of wood is a lot more. Of course, this is being compared to plywood. So, um, so that's one plus. It's super light. Because of its lightness, it's going to save you um, gas mileage. Because if if you got a big van, and you uh, replace all the wooden cabinets with this polystyrene uh, foam board cabinetry stuff, you're going to save a lot of money in gas over the long term. Another plus I should mention is it's pretty cost effective because the polystyrene up here in Canada is like eight bucks for a two by eight sheet, half inch thick. And that's the same stuff I use all the time. Um, I'm using it right now in this van. Um, so it's uh, relatively cost effective compared to like actual fiberglass. I'm not actually sure how much it costs to make something out of fiberglass, but uh, the other thing, another plus, okay, if we're talking about pluses is it's relatively um, toxin free fiberglass itself is quite brutal and um, you know there's a lot of toxic chemicals in there and stuff that you don't want to be breathing in as you're making it I think once it's cured and everything it's okay um, so let's talk about some cons major con for me and this applies you know this mostly applies to uh, people like me in my situation. Not everybody might agree with these, but uh, first con for me is that um, it's going to take quite a bit longer to make because there's a whole process you got to do. Um, for with plywood, you just grab it and you cut it and you put it assemble it. With this, you got to take the polystyrene, cut it, put the paint on, let it dry, and uh, I think there's a couple other steps once it's you have to use the Gorilla Glue in there and glue it together and stuff. So there's a lot, there's a bit more steps involved, more time consuming. Now it's not a significant amount of time more, but it is more time. The other con is that I believe that um, the polystyrene shelving is not going to be as durable as plywood. <clears throat> For example, um, Say if you have the polystyrene like this, and you're moving something in your van, and it impacts it on an angle, and there's a corner here, it's going to make a dent. I guarantee you it's going to make a dent in that polystyrene if you hit it hard enough. Now, if you don't hit it that hard, it's probably going to be a small dent. But if you hit it with a side impact on a corner, it will definitely make a dent. I remember um, when my son was younger, I had a base amp on the table, kitchen table, and somehow it fell off the table. He managed to knock it off somehow. I don't remember. I think he was a toddler. Luckily, it didn't hit him. Um, but when it landed on the floor, uh, it was the 
laminate flooring that I put in and it left a huge gash in the floor. Uh, it was about a, probably about a 10 or 15 pound amp and it was only about a three foot, two and a half foot drop. And I can imagine that if something landed on the polystyrene, I mean that stuff is, the laminate is way more rigid and uh, durable than polystyrene. So if it landed on something heavy on an angle landed on the polystyrene, it's going to leave a dent. Now, uh, those are the major cons. Um, there's an alternative to polystyrene with the uh, paint foam cabinets, and that is a kind of plywood called Italian poplar. Um, got a little story for you. When I was about five years ago, I ordered a base cab made out of fiberglass, and uh, it was super light and it was large bass cab is you know speaker you put you play your bass guitar through and uh it was it was large-ish a equivalent bass cab would weigh about 55 to 60 pounds this one weighed about 39 pounds so it's a significant weight difference now that's if it was it would build 60 pounds if it was built out of uh, baltic birch which is a uh, high grade plywood that's like a furniture level grade plywood um, so what I ended up doing is I ended up building the exact same cabinet myself base cabinet myself out of Italian poplar plywood and the end result was now keep in mind this is exactly the same dimensions everything is exactly the same it's made out of uh, plans that you can uh, get for free off the internet so I, I made the exact same plan copy the exact same thing so um, the end result was that even though it was made of plywood the Italian popular cab only weighed two pounds more um, than the fiberglass cab now there is uh, some things you have to do with the Italian poplar because it's a very soft wood. Um, you can dent it with your thumbnail. Um, so you have to basically brace it very well, which means you take some strips of wood, you put it along. See if you got a piece like this, like a rectangular piece of plywood, Italian poplar, you put strips on the back and then one down the middle. And then that would stop it from flexing when the, the pressure of the sound waves are. Um, being produced inside the base cabinet. So uh, the story is I had that fiberglass base cab and the thing gave me nothing but problems because the bolts holding the speaker or the driver into the base cab would come loose and the fiberglass was failing. Um, and what ended up happening was I had to build a circle out of wood cut that fiberglass out and put the glue the circle of wood in the spot and then bolt it in that way and it eventually worked um, but I was very frustrated I spent hours and hours trying to fix that thing and it, I, you know it was a real pain in the neck especially since I paid like probably like nine hundred dollars for that base cabinet very frustrating and what ended up happening is uh, a lot of the people, there's a whole community of people that were getting these base cabinets. Um, a lot of the people that got the fiberglass base cabinets found that the same problem was happening. They were failing um, because of the nature of the beast. They're big cabinets. They get banged. The corners get banged. They, and they were getting crushed. And um, they just weren't as durable as plywood. And they ended up going the way of the dodo bird, and nobody ordered them anymore. But if you use Italian poplar, plywood, same, uh, you don't have any of those problems. That cabinet worked beautifully. <laughs> Anyway, suffice it to say that the fiberglass is similar to the polystyrene foam deal with the paint except that the polystyrene foam stuff 
is not going to be as nearly as strong as fiberglass. So let's just put it this way. I have reservations about the durability of the foam cabinets. Now, I do. I will say that fiberglass is used everywhere. It's used on cars. It's used on boats. Um, it's even used in planes, I think. So I don't think it's necessarily the fault of the fiberglass itself in this base cabinet story it's more about the way that it was designed um, so that needs to be said anyways guys um, that's why I am not going to be you know I've got I don't know probably close to half a dozen maybe over half a dozen uh, messages from private messages my YouTube channel to public messages or comments saying hey have you heard about these foam cabinets yes I have um, now if, if you're going to build a van and you're going to use them above like around your shoulder height I think they would be uh, excellent like in an application like that but if they're anywhere near your feet um, not so much and uh, yeah I think if they're high above or in an area where they're not going to get damaged um, easily, where there's like less foot traffic, if you want to call it that, uh, I think they're not going to. I think they would do well. But if they're anywhere near your feet, or if you're kind of a clumsy person, or say you're an auto mechanic and you have heavy tools that you got to bang around sometimes, not a good idea. I would stick with the wood. <clears throat> Now I could buy the Italian Poplar and make my van, it's not going to be that much wood in this van, it's not going to be nearly as much as my old van, just because the nature of it is a smaller van, but there will be some. Um, but I could buy the Italian Poplar and build it almost as light as the foam and have a lot more durability. Um, however there's two issues of that, number one, it's very specialized plywood and up here in Vancouver, BC, uh, I have to order it. Last time I got it, it was from the Vancouver Island, and they had to ship it over, and it's kind of a, a wait time and all that. Number two, it's quite expensive. It's like $100 a sheet uh, for a piece of plywood, 4x8, so half inch. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, those are major stumbling blocks. And, I don't know, I think I'm just going to stick with uh, the Baltic Birch on... Uh, most aspects of my uh, build for this van and uh, I think it'll be fine so will I be using the foam polystyrene uh, cabinets no I will not um, mainly because of the time uh, that it would take to build them I'm much more uh, familiar with uh, using plywood um, and I uh, I'm not I've never done the foam cabinet technique so keep in mind all the stuff is my just my opinion and I'm not saying that uh, you know I'm an expert or anything like that because I'm certainly not but um, this is kind of like in a response to all the people who have been commenting to me about it and explaining why I won't be doing it and it's mainly about time and it's also because I want my stuff to be kind of like uh, durable and done with. I don't have to rebuild anything. Um, if a can of soup goes flying and it hits a side of the foam cabinet, it could leave a dent. Uh, or, or it never would do that with uh, plywood. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night.